This is Guitar Moves. I'm here with Jake Bug in Amsterdam, which was your idea. I met Jake on a blind date, but not like that. Rick Rubin introduced me to Jake Bug, and I was really struck by how great the dude is at guitar. Well, thanks for, you know, making the effort to come out. I was already meant to be here, so. Yeah. I sometimes feel that I was meant to be here. <laughs> so me and Jake meet, and I was really struck by how advanced you are on guitar, especially in light of how short of a time you've been playing. I gotta ask, and I know the answer to this and it hurts, what's the first song that you learned how to play? It was Mad World. What's, why does it hurt? It was, it was four chords. Tears for Fears? Yeah, but I don't know. I want the Tears for Fears version I learned. How'd you learn it then? Well, my uncle just showed it me. Your uncle? Yeah, because he popped he pop around with, with a guitar and uh, came home from soccer training, as you call it. <laughs> and uh, he was like, yeah, just play a G and an E minor. So that G and E minor and then D and A. Mad will. I'm, I'm happy to say I don't know the song. You don't pre <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well. All right, so that was the first one, but then it was how better than learning a, a song with three chords. That's true. Another thing that struck me is your aggressive electric, hard, fast picking. Aggressive? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's like tough. The picking. Yeah, but like the, the, uh, you're kind of. So that's doubling up. In other, in other words, you're going up and down with your right hand. I'm not too sure what it is to this. Do it one more time and play it a little slower in this. Was that off of music that you listened to as far as, the, I mean, that kind of re reminds me of Johnny Cash or? Well, yeah, there was, you know, I, I, I remember watching quite a few Johnny Cash videos and he likes to do all that business, doesn't it? Right. But what's he actually doing there? Like? Can you do that business? Well, the, the, <laughs> when they go like that? Probably not as much as he did. But <laughs> I, 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 I don't know how to do it. That's cool. Something like that, innit? Yep. Do it again. What is... <laughs> what, what is... That's great. I don't great. think it's making any difference. It just looks... I know, but it looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going two and two? Just do it one more time. And can you do you write songs off of that pattern? Does it happen that you start with that thing and then start throwing in chords or? But that was something that I kind of added in after the song. Oh. When you play the song that many times, you gotta gotta put something in there to. And I noticed also there's a there's a thing about the upstroke you're doing. You know what I mean? Like that was something that I think didn't occur to me until I was in my twenties about. Emphasizing the upstroke, do you know uh, what I mean? Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if that's just something. Yeah, so it's not. You know, I've I've not even thought about this thing. I haven't even realized that. So it's uh, interesting for you to point out. Yeah, it makes it rock, or it gives it a forward. Uh, and that seems to come naturally to you. What was the music vibe of your hometown? Well, in my own which town, is Nottingham, England. Well, Clifton. It's oh, like an okay. like it's a council estate, working class area. And, and a council estate is sort of like a proje project? Kind of, more, more kind of what you call it. And, um, you know, there, there's a lot of, like, lads that, you know, the MC and they rap, you know, just like they would in, you know, New York. Mm -hmm. And I, I like my hip-hop and, you know, me, me rap and all that. But for me, I, playing guitar and just doing the music I do felt more natural. And 
it wasn't the general kind of music that everyone listened to. And like. But I was lucky because instead of people laughing at me and uh, saying, why do you listen to that kind of music, blah, 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 th they didn't because they didn't know what it was. It was just something yeah. new? Any mu music that, you know, we haven't heard yet, well, no matter how old it is, it's still new music. Mm -hmm. It's just funny because no one could ever comment on it because they didn't know what it was. So there wasn't a context like, oh, you're playing this old shit or... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, they, did, they didn't know, like, you'd hear Buddy Holly, like... <laughs> Buddy Holly who? <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Will you show me that, uh... That, ri that riff? Show me that riff. Yeah, oh, you think you can get it this time? I doubt it. All right, so let's just do, let's just oh, do the whole thing. Do the intro. <laughs> anyway, for the long story. <laughs> okay, well, all right, so, so this is a Dad Gad song that... Uh, Dad Gad meeting, it's in this tuning. Here's something that Jake showed me that I can't figure out. <laughs> I mean, I can you figure will out part be able to figure it out. <laughs> Well, now I could watch it on YouTube and learn it <laughs> in, the, in, the, in my sweatpants. When did you start doing that kind of picky stuff? I started doing picky night when I was about 13, 14, because like, I saw Don McLean and Donovan and people, like, like they did a lot of picking. So you used mostly these two guys? Yeah, mainly, yeah. Hey. <laughs> So the whole time you're keeping your th your thumb going. Boom, that, that's boom, that's boom. that took me ages to learn that one though. Oh really? That like, <laughs> that's took because I listened to a lot of Robert Johnson, and they say it sounds like two people playing, and sometimes it does. So how's he doing that? And I think it's just about keeping that going the whole time. Mm -hmm. And then figure out how to do the other stuff yeah. around it, right? Yeah, it's just yeah, and I just had to subconsciously learn because you know it's. I think it's like more training your brain to like the muscle memory and all that crap. Mm -hmm. But it just taught me. Man, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's great. Um, so uh, let's do acoustic stuff. Did you start on an acoustic guitar? Yeah, I did start on the acoustic, yeah. Was, it, was there one line around the house, or? No, my uncle just brought it around. Uh, just a free quarter little thing. I've just had it restored, actually. Really? Yeah, just because it like, has a lot of sentimental value. Like. You showed me this thing uh, that I'm jealous of, uh, this, this fl flamingo. Flami flamingo. We're gonna learn about flamingo style guitar. One like, you know, the kind of general idea of it is this finger comes down. Your your middle finger? Wait. This finger. First finger comes down. And then the thumb. 
Okay. And then the finger goes back up. So it's in threes. One, two, three. That's just to get the the like kind of so. going, really. Is that right? Or yeah, but you gotta kind of instead of just hitting the bass now you gotta So you kind of drag your thumb across. More or less, yeah. Play it sped up. What happens? When you speed it up. Yeah. That's killer. That's well, you can also mess around with it, like you can do. Um, yeah. That's sick. That's awesome. That's sick. Is that a song? It's a, it's a work in progress. That's sick. That's great. Our friend was was asking about the song Lightning Bolt because he says nobody knows it over over in America. Never mind. <laughs> Let's just play the song. <laughs> Morning, it's another pure grey morning. Who knew what the day is holding? When I get up tired and I walk right into the path of a lightning bolt. Siren of an ambulance comes howling right through the center of town and one blinks an eye and I look into the sky and the path of a lightning bolt. Matter is the angel's part of for her, but it only brought me torture. That's what happens when it's you that's standing in the path of a lightning bolt. Everyone I see just walks the wobble. Well, man, I guess it's late. It's pretty late. And Amsterdam is a naked city, and we're gonna hit it from behind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, not way. just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. It's a naked city. I'm gonna hit it from behind. You go your way. I'll go mine. <laughs>